If you look at how much energy it takes to generate those things, X-rays and gamma rays that are developed in the lightning channel, it shouldn't happen, but it does happen. It almost seems like the closer we look, the more detail that we look at this process, the more questions we come up with. Typical lightning is maybe 25,000 amps. Uh, what does that mean? Well, with an arc welder, an electric arc welder, we can fuse two pieces of steel together with 200 amps. So this is two magnitudes, 200, 2,000, 20,000. Uh, it's a lot, of, uh, a lot of current. I saw the flash of lightning hit me. It hit the brim of my, my, my hard hat. The energy is still zinging within my body. I, w I know I was in shock. I know my arm was still tremoring. And I said, look, at, there's steam still coming off my body. And, and he put his hand up in my face and said, stop. And I stopped and he said, you're saying too much, too fast. So therefore, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Go back to work. Lightning is not a burn injury. Less than 10% of the survivors that we see have any marks on the outside of their bodies at all. This is like a typical field in science where just about the time you think we've got it all figured out, somebody comes up with something brand new. 